This is a Kenmore water heater, electric. My name is Ken Kosh. I am here in Spokane, Washington. I am a Finnish carpenter turned plumber today. This is my office, which was a former laundry room. That's why it has a hose bib here. This is getting a new floor today. Anyway, my water heater was leaking a little bit, and I also discovered there was tons of calcium in the bottom. By removing the lower element, I was able to take this plastic hose and flush it out. By pinching the hose, I was able to create a jet action. Going back and forth, I had to move the hose in and out several times. I laid the water heater down on my office chair, which gave it a good angle. Like so. Anyhow, uh, down on my hands and knees, working the hose back and forth using this. I had this screen, green screen here to keep the calcium from going down the floor drain. So, using a jet action, pinching the hose, moving the hose in and out several times because the calcium will build up right in the entrance and, like rocks, it won't want to come out. So, you got to pull the hose in and out, different angles, stick the hose way inside back and forth, back and forth, whatever it takes. I had to actually take a paper clip to free the cock over there because it had calcium uh, in its entrance. So I stood the water heater up several times, laid it down several times, and this took about a half hour. And there it lays on the floor, about two gallons of calcium. You can give your water heater another 10-15 uh, years of life by doing so. The best preventative, I guess, is to flush it out once a year, which I didn't know was part of the norm. You learn something new every day. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video as I did enjoy making it. Over and out, take care, have a good day. I hope you have success. Bye.